Good morning. Today's lesson is 10.6. Area of a rectangular polygons. Our essential question, how can you find the area of rectangular polygons? Let's unlock the problem. Emery is making a patch for his soccer ball. The patch he is using is a regular polygon. A regular polygon is a polygon in which all the sides have the same length and all of the angles have the same measurement. Emery needs to find the area of a piece of material shaped like a regular pentagon. You can find the area of a regular polygon by dividing the polygon into congruent and triangles. Draw line segments from each vertex to the center of the pentagon to divide it into five congruent triangles. You can find the area of one of the triangles if you know the side length of the polygon and the height of the triangle. So here's my polygon and they want me to draw. So I drew, so I see how I have my congruent. I have one, two, three, four, five triangles. So to find the area of one triangle, I'm going to write the formula. Remember we did this one a long time ago. A equals half base, or you could say base times height divided by 2. So if I know that this is 20 centimeters and the height here is 14 centimeters, I'm going to substitute the 20 for my base and the 14 for my height. So 20 times 14 is 140. Actually, 20 times 40. 20 times 14 is 280, but then remember I have to divide by 2, so that gets me to the 140. Okay, so one of my triangles, one of my triangles is 140, but how many triangles do I have? Well, I have 5. So if I multiply that 5 times the 140, I'm going to get the area of the entire thing. So area is going to equal 5 times the 140, and 140 times 5 is 700 centimeters squared. So the area of the pentagon shape is 700 centimeters squared. Okay, example, find the area again of a regular polygon. So first they draw the line segments from each vertex to the center. So just like before, I'm gonna have five triangles. And into how many congruent triangles did I divide it into? Again, oh, this one's six, sorry. My bad, let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one has six. So find the area of one triangle, so we're going to write the formula, area equals half times base times height, or again, you could say base times height divided by 2. So substitute 4.2 for the base and 3.6 for the height. So my base is going to be 4.2 and my height is going to be 3.6. So I'm going to have 4.2 times 3.6, which is 15.12, or 15.12, and then I have to divide that by 2 and it's 7.56. So if one triangle is 7.56 meters squared, there are six triangles, so I'm gonna multiply that by six to find out the entire hexagon shape. So six times the 7.56 is 45.36, or 45 and 36 hundredths. So the area of a hexagon, uh, the area of this hexagon is 45 and 36 hundredths. Into how many congruent triangles can you divide a regular decagon by drawing the line segments from each vertex to the center of the decagon. Explain. Well, it's going to be 10 because a regular decagon has 10 sides that are the same length, so it can be divided into 10 triangles of the same size and shape. Number two, think smarter. In an irregular polygon, the sides do not have <clears throat> the sides do not all have the same length, and the angles do not have all the same measurement. Could you find the area of irregular polygon using the method that you used in this lesson? Explain your reasoning. No, it's you can't because you might be able to find the center of the irregular polygon and connect it, but, to, but they're not going to all be the same congruent triangles because they're all going to be different lengths and different sizes, so you wouldn't be able to just multiply it. You'd have to find each one of the segments separately and then add them together. Okay, find the area of a regular polygon. <clears throat> First, you're going to number the congruent tri triangles inside the figure, okay? So here's, here's one, right? And how many am I going to have? Well, if I draw my line up, two, three, four, five, whoops, six, seven. So I'm going to have, that is really bad drawing. Sorry about that, guys. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to have eight triangles. The area of each triangle, remember, is we have our, um, we have five centimeters as my base and six centimeters is my height. So it's going to be five times six, right, which is um, 
which is 30, and then I divide that by five, but divide that in half, right, by two, and so 30 divided by two is 15. So the area of this octagon, so one of them is 15. So this one right here is 15, and I have eight total, so I'm gonna multiply the eight side, or the eight triangles by the 15, and I'm gonna get 120 centimeters. Okay, you're gonna do the rest on your own, but remember, you have to divide them first. So you're gonna draw it out, right? So how many sides do I have on this one? I have one, two, three, four, five sides. So whatever I get, I'm gonna do five times whatever I get for one of these. And remember, this is six and four, so it's six times four divided by two. That's gonna give me one of the sides. That's the answer that's gonna go in there, all right? Okay, good luck. Do the rest on your own or with a partner, and I'm always there for you.